Now the first time I brought Holly into view on my vlog, I was trying to see... First I was interested. Interested in how everything was going. Then I wanted to try to help her. Um, I put the vlog out there and I was still starting out and I was upset that nobody answered. Nobody wanted to see the vlog. Um, some people called it crap. And all it was was showing somebody that was hurting that's probably adjusted but out in the woods, out in, out in the open, out in the middle of the world, no roof over their head, no real roof over their head. And you have to put yourself in her position. She'd been doing it for a very long time. Most of them have. They've had to develop their own their own defenses and uh, have their own looks because keep in mind they don't have a roof over their heads. They don't have the same the same social um, gatherings that you and I might have. They only had themselves out there. Nobody probably really wanted to get around them because. They're out, they're out in the woods. Nobody trusts anybody that's homeless. And everybody, or most people, assume that if you're homeless, you're on drugs. And if you're homeless, you're nothing but a drunk. If you're homeless, you deserve to be there. A lot of people think that. There are good people out there that believe, uh, that actually believe that some people make mistakes. And, you know, things happen. They get out of control. Maybe you miss a bill or two. You make a big mistake. You get arrested. Next thing you know, you're losing your job. Next thing you know, you're on the streets. You can't pay your bills, and you end up on the streets. And not everybody wants to chip in and help out. Okay. Granted, not everybody has a lot of money. But I put the video out there for everybody to see, and, and I may have overreacted. May have overreacted. That... The video was out for a day or two. Barely anybody was looking at it. That was when I was asking for help for her. And then soon after that I made a GoFundMe page. Which received zero. Zero help. Not even a dime. For her. For whatever reason you have. You're going through hard times. You don't have time to see the video. You didn't have time to do anything. You don't have any money. You don't believe in helping somebody that's living on the streets. Fine. But the second that I put on video that Holly was killed, bam! View after view after view after view after view. Now granted my channel is not a very big channel. I don't get millions of views in one day like uh, some people. Um, it's still new. But I can tell the difference between four or five and two or three days of, of people viewing and people, you know, griping about it to within 15 hours having 30 freaking views on it. Now granted, yes, I like views, but that tells, that's got to tell you something. The phrase is, but it has something to do with human beings loving tragedy. They want to see more tragedy than they want to see good things or people asking for something. Maybe that's it. I could be way off base. But think about it. I put out a video telling you about a homeless woman that's hurting, barely has anything to sleep in, and I barely get any views. And people gripe about it. And then I put one out about her dying, and it gets 30 views in 15 hours. There's something wrong with that. Now... If you want to view, you know, tragedy, fine. But at least, you know, you could have said something while she was still alive. That's my thing. Other than that, I tried to find strings tonight to find out more about what happened to her. I met up with Mike. He didn't want to be on camera, and I asked for ever. He said, just not right now. He explained that she was hit by a car and run over by an 18-wheeler. He said there's a couple of different versions out there. Strings was there, he said. So I'm going to try to find Strings within the next few days and see if we can get his story about it and how what he says happened. Anyway, for all of you that care, and even some of you that don't care, subscribe. Sometimes there are things worth watching and taking time out of your precious day to look at. If not, 
so be it. But here is Holly. Remember her, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little. But I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my next meal. You know, hmm. you know, it's not, it's not a life to live. Really. You know, it's, it's depressing. It's sad. You know, it's like you know, you walked up here. You know, I'm sitting here alone. I ain't got no one to talk to. You know, I mean, if I want to hug you, I'm very, very good to hug. You know, and if I want to take a walk, I mean, there, it's raining and I'm, it's coming from the right here. I mean, yeah. um, I got a cold and a cough, man, and like. I have no one offering me medicine. I have no one like taking care of me. I can't just lay down and go to sleep, you know, without being attacked by like bugs, spiders, you know, like whatever. There's just so much to worry about, you know. Hi. They don't want to hire me, you know, because they might judge me, you know. Like, you know, I mean, I mean, I try to be honest about it, you know, like, like I'm homeless, like, you know, like, they just kind of look, you know, look down on me or whatever. I don't know, I mean, I want to be able to have my own house and be able to relax in my own house. And just when you think, you know, be able to charge my, my phone or be able to listen to my people say, you know, like, I have to worry about someone walking up on me.